basic info about curium. Curium has an atomic number of 96, is extremely metallic, is a solid, has three valence electrons, but sometimes four. Also, curium is not located in periods 1 through 7, but it's rather called an actinide. Actinides are very radioactive, which I will get into later. Curium is also in group 11. How was curium discovered? Curium was discovered by Glenn Seaborg, Ralph James, and Albert Gazzaro in 1944. They were messing with a newly discovered element plutonium at a lab in Berkeley, California. The researchers then sent the sample off to a metallurgical laboratory in the University of Chicago. There, they were able to separate a tiny sample, and curium was born. Interestingly enough, the news of curium was not disclosed until after World War II on November 11, 1945. Where did curium get its name? Curium got its name after a chemist and physicist Mary Curie and her husband Perry Curie. Both are big pioneers in understanding radioactivity. They both discovered radium and polonium. Curium is very radioactive. Curium is one of the most radioactive elements there is, and that's due to it being an actinide. And it doesn't stop there, no. If absorbed by the human body, the element will accumulate in the bones and destroy red blood cell formation. In short, you gonna die. Also, curium is super expensive, costing 80,434% more than gold. Yes, that's right, 80,430% more, or $185 per milligram. That makes gold dirt cheap. Bonus facts about curium. Curium is very shiny, synthetic, has a density of 13.5 grams per cubic centimeter, has a melting point of 1,345 degrees Celsius, has a boiling point of 3,110 degrees Celsius, and is very reactive with oxygen and steam. Thanks for watching.